Hi, welcome to Australia. You can hear the cicadas outside going absolutely nuts, so I apologize about that sound. I also have um, a fan running in here, it's a little bit hot, so I just want that on. So hopefully the sound is okay, otherwise I'm going to have to refilm this and it's going to be awful. But today's video, you can see my Strata Compact in the background. You can see the capsule below, you can see the second seat over here, and if I go this way, you should be able to see the bassinet. So what I want to show you is all of the combinations that you can have with the Strata Compact, starting from a single mode all the way through to a double mode with all of the things. Now I have all of the things like I listed, so I've got the top seat for the Strata, I have the capsule, the second seat, and the bassinet. The only thing that I'm missing or I don't have is a second capsule, but I will show you where that goes. And the other thing is the option of another capsule. So the other capsule that you can get is the Unity, which you need top adapters and you need a second seat frame which is sold separately for the Unity um, to go on because the bottom frame has the adapters for the infant carrier, which is right there. So let's get into it. We're going to start with single mode. So you have the option to face baby forward. If you use your two thumbs and put them underneath the belly bar, which is this here, and your two pointer fingers and put them on the gray buttons, you'll easily be able to lift the seat out and turn the seat around the other way so that you are now facing the baby. Oops. Take it in. And Bubby is now facing you. You still have your own ones. The second option that you can have with this cramp uh, in single mode is taking the top seat off and adding the bassinet. So that clicks on like that. So to remove the bassinet, you have a lever at the back, very similar to the one that adjusts the seat going up and down. So lift that lever, it will release the lock latches below and lift the bassinet. The third option is a capsule. So click that one into there. This is the Steelcraft Infant Carrier. And to lock it on, we, let's remove that. Use the two gray buttons on the sides and we actually push the handle back and it locks it into position so much so I can lift the, <laughs> the whole frame up just by the capsule. Now to take the capsule off, again, the same gray buttons either side, squish them, Pull the handle up and that simply releases the capsule. So there are your three or four different styles to have in a um, single mode. So you've got your top seat that faces forward and also faces the parent. You've got your bassinet and you've also got your capsule. Let's move on to having two seats. So let's start with the bottom seat which I'll just grab and pop it on. So here is our bottom seat with the fabric in it. It has a small hood, like that. Okay, there is our second seat added. The next really nifty thing that I'm going to show you are these adapters. So what these adapters do is actually extend from seat forward. So they click up the top in here and they move the seat from clicking on here to here. So it gives the baby down the bottom a little bit more room. So let's go with the standard. So the bottom seat only faces forward. Place the top seat on. Forward. Now this will allow you to sit the pram up and lie it down as much as you wish. If you decide that you want to have this baby at the top facing you, it will work. But because you've added these adapters on down the bottom, you will only be able to have the baby lying down. It won't sit up. If the baby were to sit up, this baby down here would also have no room. So there are your two options with the seats. So this one again only faces forward, whereas this one will face forward um, and recline and sit up, but it will only recline if it's facing the parent. You can also add a capsule to the top and 
the second seat down the bottom. Like that. We've got plenty of room for whoever's sitting down the bottom. And Bub's happy up here in their capsule. So technically you can add your bassinet up the top and your second seat down the bottom, but to me there's really not much room for the child down here. So I would suggest only using the bassinet in single mode. Oh. Done all the possible combinations with the seat on the bottom. Now let's take this seat fabric off and put the capsule down the bottom and we'll see what combinations we can do up the top. So to remove the seat, take the hood off. have a baby in here they have hardly any room whatsoever you can see that that's basically touching I originally said the bassinet can only be used in single mode without the second seat down the bottom I believe that's all the combinations um, except one which I don't have the final piece for so if I take this off obviously I told you guys at the start I didn't have a second capsule if I did have a second capsule, it would go right on here and it would face the parent. So if the parent was standing here, you'd be able to have the capsule up the top how it normally goes. And they will fit on there nicely. I just, again, I don't have a second capsule. So they are all the combinations that I have tried with all of the pieces um, in all of the spots. The bassinet doesn't go down the bottom. I'll show you where the capsule would go, if you can imagine. So the capsule will be down there and again up here with the handle locked in. One of the biggest things I wanted to show you guys with this video is this is the adapter frame that you put a capsule on. So the capsules slip into here on either side and it locks in. This is actually the second seat with the seat fabric taken off. 
you don't have to buy a second frame although you can buy this black frame with a different adapter here for the unity and if you wanted to put the unity up the top you also need to buy a separate adapter for that capsule if you bought the infant carrier which is this one this is designed to slide right into all of the steel craft grams to a certain degree I know that I have seen a few people ask about it, so that's why I decided to make this video. Um, I, like I said, I've showed you all of the combinations regardless if I thought that they were suitable or not, um, and generally explained why or why not. But if you actually look, I'll put in a, a, a photo that Brightax or Steelcraft have let out, which is their advised positions that you can put the gram in. I mean, like I said, just because you can put the cream in that way doesn't mean it's advised to be used that way. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure that you do give this video a big thumbs up if it was helpful to you. And make sure you like all my other videos and watch all my other videos. 